It's Warcraft Day. Yeah, that's right, Stormy Z. It is. We're kicking off with some replays here, shoutcasting. Absolutely. Hey, everybody, this is Stormy with a capital Z. Today, I am with a very, very special guest. I have with me on my side Rook, a Night Elf specialist and a veteran Warcraft 3 player. Hey, Rook, how you doing, man? Hey, Stormy, I'm doing well. Thanks. Thanks for that warm introduction. How are you? I'm doing just fine. So, uh, finally, off of some technical snags that we were facing, we are back. Yeah. And we're gonna kick some yes. kick off with some replays here. The first one is oh, going yeah. to be a replay quest by Newbie XD, uh, him playing a 2v2 Dota. Alright, so let's yeah, unpause right. the game in three seconds and let's go over it. Alright, you ready? Okay. Three, yep. two, one, go. Alright. So we got Newbie XD spawning over here. Add the 530, his ally towards the four. Newbie XD and Dota are known for their 2v2 team. They are a really strong team. Undead and Night Elf are their respective races. And uh, they're no known for um, tier 3 play. Something that Newbie XD has been talking to me earlier as well. They're also competing together in some tournaments and stuff as well, like skill. And they did have the opportunity to face a couple of pro players as well. Nice. Uh, who did they face you? Um, actually, I forgot. I probably can look up. I know what I'm gonna. I can actually get up on the chat over here. Foggy, wow. Actually, Foggy and his ally. Foggy's ally. Wow, that's awesome. Actually, awesome. Oh, wow, uh, crazy story. Uh, you know Mr. Winner? Oh, yeah, I know Mr. The... Winner. <laughs> I, matched, I matched him last night in a 2v2. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, on the Europe server. It was really cool. I, I didn't realize it was Mr. Winner until the game was over, but that was pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool indeed. Uh, uh, Cash, Foggy and Cash, they faced Foggy and Cash, oh, wow. and uh, they did play well, they said, although they got beat. So we got some scouts, uh, workers heading into each of their opponent's bases. Influenza sending in scout Steve, scout peon Steve. Yeah. We got yeah, scout peon Steve. We got Fars here from Influenza, the orc player. By the way, we didn't kind of introduce the uh, opponents. We got Influenza, the teal orc, and risky move, the teal undead. Then they're going in for Crypt Lord and Farseer, so they're gonna have a lot of summons with that. Yeah, Risky Move says it all with uh, his allies, uh, Cheeky Shop Location. Oh, what right, is that? I, right outside uh, Newbie XD's base. That's super risky. Newbie's gonna detect that. I don't really know if that's really the best uh, place to set it up. I, well, if I wanted a bit closer to my opponent, I guess putting it near the expansion is a better idea. Perhaps when, yeah, when yeah, perhaps when the night comes up, if you don't want to be kind of disrupted with the um, creeps or something. Dota and uh, Influenza had a short melee. Well, they're kind of still having it while the hero for uh, the Farsia ran away, and uh, Dota with the Demon Hunter was facing the summons and the grunt. And uh, Nubi actually detecting that Voodoo Lao is gonna go right after it, but not before he aggroed the creeps. So he's gonna have to face the creeps a bit as well. It's just a green cramp, so it should be fine. Influenza setting it up immediately after it gets cancelled. Yeah, they're going for uh, an offensive here, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering if Newbie XD and Dota can hold this. Looks bad. Do Dota takes down the shop really nice. But right. Newbie XD is just getting overran by summons. Good awareness on the side of Newbie XD and Dota, I must say. One or the other did uh, look at the shop and take it out because if that shop does come up, it's gonna be some crazy healing salve. For Team Teal here. Mana potion, mana clarities too, and uh, speed scroll. Oh, season. speed scroll, dude, really, man. Speed scroll would have owned. Ruby XD being surrounded, fighting tooth and nail against those summonables. And it looks already bad. He for is forced to use the TP inside his own base. Will get a better position, and a detonation goes down. Very nice one. 
Dota going after that shop once again. Good awareness, good map awareness. Some Huntress that is on the field. Ah, uh, Farseer can't do much in that position. Ah, uh, nice block, nice block. Almost got it. Farseer almost and got blocked by the Huntress. New BXD doing a good job holding on. Gexy at the back of his base, towards the back of his gold mine, kinda getting stuck between the summon levels. He has yeah. no escape route! Yeah, he is surrounded. He gotta go down! There's nothing to save it, and he does Death Knight bites the dust, but so does the Crypt Lord on the other team. Oh. Crypt Lord down too, yup, nicely done. And the it looks like they're gonna hold off this uh, big early push. They were returning the favor and Nubie XD transforming one Ziggurat into a uh, spirit tower there. By the way, Jockey's on the stream and he says, Reforged! Yeah, nice. Uh oh, Influenza almost losing his farce here there. Yup, he gets away by the skin of his teeth. Absolutely. It's the way, gonna get back to his base and gonna set up a voodoo launch back at his base. Now, here's the thing. While he tried to set up voodoo launches at his opponent's base and failed to do so, he's not gonna have a voodoo launch ready when he comes in. He absolutely needs it right now, Dota heading in. He knows that he kn there is no voodoo launch there. And this looks bad. Arthur may even get taken out. It's like super low. Positioning, good uh, uh, blocking over here. Using all of those choke points made by his uh, old yeah. base. Yeah, that's right, those choke points. And uh, looks like the Demon Hunter gets surrounded, but he does have that Zephyr teleportation and he stabs out to a safe location. And looks like uh, Newbie XD is coming in to aid him. And it looks like they're going to pressure Influenza a bit. Go right after the shop, and that's exactly what they now need to take out. They need to return the favor. That rush attempt that almost uh, kind of destabilized Nubie XD's economy. Uh, they're gonna have to do something about that. And they are here. They're gonna go after the burrows. The burrows are very far away from any kind of reinforced defenses. And one of them will get taken out. That's gonna set uh, Influenza behind a bit. He's not gonna be able to produce anything for some time until he has the burrow up. And Nubie XD and Dota are not complete. Well, now they are. They're leaving his. No, they're leaving influencers' base. Although I, I don't think they should have done that. Looking at the fact that uh, risky move wasn't even there to help his ally out, I think they could have even taken out a couple of more burrows, kill a couple of more uh, peons. Even if they ended up losing a fiend or two, it would have been worth it because they would have definitely crippled up influencers' um, uh, economy there. Yeah, it's kind of true. Uh, maybe they could have. Uh... Uh, inflicted more damage on their enemy and uh, before his ally showed up uh, but they chose to back out and do some creeping which also is kind of like a, it's not a bad play it's Our a friend. safer play yeah a safer play and getting those watch awards are just so necessary on this map they seem to be heading in again but wait jockey did yeah, type Dota's in. going in the the are Dota's going out. in he's going to cancel these uh, buildings they were just in there and uh, he knew that the tier 2 buildings were going to come up so he goes on in and cancels them, that's a good move. Well, I would say this is actually a good move. They waited for Influenza to get out of his base so that they could get in once again and scramble over yeah. all of those uh, burrows and stuff. And Dota, oh Dota doing a nice little uh, sneaky maneuver of going towards that side while uh, faking it towards the opponent but will end up losing one Huntress nonetheless. Giving level 2 to that Farsi and Nubi XD coming in to fight once again, but quickly backing out, disengaging. Uh, the other side of the the other Goblin Merchant, the Watch Award camp went to Team Teal, as in a risky move went for that immediately. Yup. And uh, oh, good move. Dota, Dota and, is trapped! Uh, yep. Dota, Dota is trapped! Trap. And he forced He's to use the TP down, there. Oh, hmm. almost got the level 7 creep steal. Almost there. I'm not sure if he teeping away was the best maneuver. And Dota, I like the positioning of uh, Dota's uh, shop here. That's gonna give both of the yeah. players a benefit. But here's the problem. This is probably the weakest shop ever. It's gonna go down, sadly, for Team Red. 
Okay, so while we have some time, I'm gonna read out what Jockey said. Loki wanted to scare ya, but nah. This is why I'll always build two shops. So Jockey likes to build two shops, which is something that some players like to do. One base and one hidden. Uh, that's actually something that should be more common in 2v2 in my opinion. What do you say, Rook? Rook? Uh, two shots. Uh, two shots. Uh, yeah, um... Dota had two shots up. Yeah, he has one in his, uh... He had one in his allies base. Uh, what do I say about the two shots? Um... I say the two shots can be good. Yeah, it can be good. Okay, I'm gonna kind of gonna blame Nubie XG and Dota here. They kind of gave their opponents a too big of an a too big of a window of opportunity. Now, like they had a really good chance of completely messing up Influenza because Risky Move wasn't even there to help him out. They could have actually inflicted more damage, as we said earlier. But now, from what I can see, Influenza, Risky Move, they're coming back into the fight. They're gonna have. Uh, yeah. Just as big of an army, they're gonna be able to creep just as much. While Nubi XG and Dota seem to be going in for the bigger camps, they're gonna go in for the camps in the middle. And these camps aren't really bad camps either, because you got the Gargantium Sea Turtle here. That's like a level 7 creep, that's gonna give you a lot of experience and gold. Yeah. And I'll... here, Risky Move finds Dota. Dota's forced to TP out. Did he get the big item though? Yeah, he got the big item. And. It's a Kagura's Pipe of Inside, really good one for the Night Elf. Lovely. Uh, yeah. Of course, these uh, aura boosting items have been nerfed in the latest patch, but will still yeah. be. Uh, what even if you like have, uh, if you used to have two two plus two, even if you have a two plus a two plus one point five now, it's it's a benefit. It's worth yeah, it. It's definitely a benefit. Yeah. A benefit and it's worth it. Okay, hey, newbie's actually on the stream. Uh, he says that, yeah, we couldn't contest because I was behind in tech and economy was fair, uh, was economy or a fair bit. I don't think so, I mean, because you didn't really lose any acolytes in the base, you just lost one, I think. It really wasn't that uh, big of a deal, and uh, we got a battle coming in. Dota going after yeah. Influenza, and uh, Influenza does have some headhunters in the back line. Those are going to deal some good amount of damage on those huntresses. Oh, they're already transforming into Berserkers! Got the upgrades, and Influenza is right on the mark, despite of uh, the early aggression and uh, a <laughs> bit of a uh, uh, setback there when Nubia XG and Dota attacked his base. And Nubia XD has the uh, Ancient Django of Endurance, so they have two aura items, really big. Django of Endurance plus uh, Unholy Aura. Yeah, they stack. It's really good. Yeah, I mean, you don't need speed scroll now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need speed scroll anymore. They're gonna be able to rush to any part of the map with those. Looks like we have a big fight coming up. Uh, can we pause the game for a second? Sure. Uh, you well, at 12? I'm at 1235 paused. Sure, I'm at 1236. No problem. All right, so I just want to take a look at the food count. We got Nubie XD maxed out at 50-50. Dota at 41-50. Influenza 53. And Risky move 48. So it looks like Team Teal has more food. Okay, let's unpause. Let's see what happens. Uh, three, one. Right, uh, the waiting outside at choke point. Team Influenza definitely yeah. has uh, more units here, and they also got summoned, so that matters. That absolutely matters. But uh, Nubie XD and Dota have the advantage of the auras, but is that gonna be enough? Dota getting those Ancient of War up to the fight, and may maybe those yeah. would be the equalizers. Yeah, the Ancient of Wars are good. And uh, looks like uh, Team Teal can't find a good position, but they let off a scroll of the beast. That's going to be big damage boost. And here comes the battle. They There's got the position battle. they wanted. They got great position behind those ancients, that's for sure. And they got with detonating the summons, eliminating the front lines. And also the speed uh, scroll of beast. Ancient Wars get taken out. But did they give? 
enough of an opportunity for Team Red to actually get the number of units they wanted. Oh no! Dota loses his Demon Hunter! Crip Lord CPing out and so is the Orc. So, uh... I would say it was a good defense by Newbie XD and Dota. But... Well, now they got Mountain Giants coming in. Tier 3 Mountain Giants with upgrades. That's really good. But the next time uh, Team Teal engages, they won't have those Ancient of Wars on the front lines, but at least they'll have those Tier 3 Mountain Giants. So, Not sure if I'm very much agreed with Influenza and Risky Move's uh, decision of TPing away. They had a lot of units in the back line. I think they should have still stuck in for a couple of more seconds, taken out uh, the weaker units such as Riots and... Uh, Huntresses with yeah. the piercing damage and then TP the away if they wanted to. Otherwise, I mean, there was a uh, there was a lot of weak units by Dota, but uh, what happened was is uh, Teal's Crypt Lord had like one percent life, so yeah, he yeah. was either going to TP or die. Well, in the situation like that, I think just letting the Crypt Lord die would have been a better idea because they had they had the fight under control. They would have been able to cripple the fight much a uh, bit further and the only loss they would have taken was the loss to the Crypt Lord there. They also had a Death Knight in the back, uh, probably didn't have mana enough back then to get back and coming back into the fight this time with Bloodlust, Dota coming in with a Dispel there and uh, this time TM Teal is a bit split at that uh, yeah. juncture. Noobie XD is going to portal in and get a better position and here it goes. Uh, that's Not a good position for Team Teal, I'd say. They're stuck in that choke point. Oh, big impale! Yeah, and big impale there. Stunning almost the whole army. VXD's Crypt Lord under grave danger Giant gets coil. death coiled. Wow, they have another scroll of the beast, yup. And that's going to help Team Teal a lot. More damage output. So, uh, not sure, uh... This is looking rough for Team Red in my opinion. Uh, the Team Teal is just overwhelming, but maybe they can do something here. We'll see what happens. And uh, another Impale goes off. And, uh, oh, look at that Impale by Newbie XD. Nicely done. And, but there was a nice stomp from uh, Influenza. And it looks like Team Red is overpowering now. Oh no, the Demon Hunter goes down. This could Demon go either Hunter way. Death Knight goes down. Death Knight goes down. Come on, and, we need uh, entangle. We need off. entangle on that TC. Could have got an entangle. Wow, well, got that heal wave and off just in time. Uh, should, should have done that entangle much early, and uh, yeah, it's gonna wear off because that's a hero or purge that. I definitely didn't purge that because he's still big with that uh, bloodlust. Yeah. Wow, great uh, hold by Newbie XD and Dota. They're gonna detect the expansion here, but they're not doing anything about that just yet. Now they are. What I was about to say during the fight was though, Dota needs to kind of keep his uh, their opponents busy with those mountain giants. They're not gonna deal a lot of damage, but as long as they can keep taunting and keep messing up the micro, the backline will be able to pierce through the army. And that's exactly what Newbie XD and Dota did there. Yeah. The Mount Giants are great for on the front lines and uh, soaking damage and uh, disrupting the enemy's micro, that's right. And, uh, it's like, it looks like Newbie XD and Dota just have more chemistry, you know, they're taking better fights, they're getting in good positioning. Absolutely. And uh, Team Teal, I mean, they gave a good effort, you know, but it wasn't enough to break the uh, break the line. Oh now no! Here we go. Newbie XD coils his Crypt Lord nicely done, getting those Mountain Giants up front, nice positioning. Influenza yeah, position and Risky Move had just have a better position right now. Uh oh! Into the air with that Impale. Yeah, those mountain giants are on the front. They're soaking tons of damage. That's a lot of damage soaked up. Big impale! 
Nice level two force of nature. Goes down. Extra trends. And uh, looks like they're just breaking through uh, Teal's lines. Fiends can definitely break through the back line there. The Berserkers will definitely fall to them if they use the right way. Triplot goes down for risky move. Yeah, Cross Team Noah's towards the back line. Looking to fall apart here. That Lich, that Lich from New BXD is sitting in the back of that Orb of Corruption. Just hammering away. Team Teal trying to get up front here and uh, push them back, but uh, their headhunters and fiends are dying. They can't hold the line anymore. Uh, influence as far as he is about to go down. Oh, nice mana burn. Death Knight goes and down. Death Knight goes down. And Team Teal taps out. Yup, nice, uh, nice defense from Newbie XD and Dota. Nice way to stay in the game. A nice way to uh, take those good fights with good positioning. Good job by Dota using his Ancient of Wars in that big battle in his base. And uh, yeah, teamwork makes the dream work, as they say. Absolutely, teamwork makes the dream work. And Nubi XD and Dota showing us exactly how war can be crafted. That was a lovely game, I must say. Yeah, it was a great game indeed, a great game. Nubi XD and Dota played safe, picked up the fighters that they needed to, got their positions, uh, held the line really well, I must say. Nubi XD and Dota just have a really good chemistry when it comes to defending their bases. Uh, I really liked how either of them uh, were at least, you know, concentrating and was aware of uh, the Voodoo Launch being dropped. If the Voodoo Launch came up, that would have spelled disaster for them at Tier 1. With all the healing cells yeah. and uh, speed scrolls and stuff, they actually got it down three times. So you know you need some really good awareness of what is cooking. When Nubia XD was down, Dota was there to defend him, and uh, when eventually Dota's base was attacked twice towards the end, Nubia XD uh, uh, once one of the times he TP towards the inner side to get a better position, and uh, things like that matter in the game of Warcraft. Yeah, you know, uh, just to backtrack a tad, uh, like you said, uh, if they didn't get that shop down, if they would have utilized that shop in New BXC's base in the beginning, yeah, it could have been disastrous, that's for sure. Absolutely. And uh, the real New BXD just said Fly got 3 would by Exelord. Wow. Wow. Oh. Exelord just taking that momentum and propelling through Fly. Who is a world-class fighter? I can't believe that's unbelievable. Anything's possible in 2021. That's for sure. Impossible. This may just be the year of X Lord, and he may yeah. just be the one that gets. I to... think it's going to be the year of Hitman, bro. You I... know Hitman. I Hitman's doing well as well. doing pretty well, yeah. Hitman beat is beating happy, bro. Uh, Hitman's on fire these days, but. But anyway, uh, let's dive into another game. What do you say? Do your thing. Putting with this one and engage with our audience on another episode of Warcraft Day. Yeah, that's right. Warcraft Day, baby.